welcome to Craftery by PragerU Kids. Crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we're making a no-sew pillow. Why a pillow? Well, to honor sweet dreams and one dream very important in our United States history in particular. I have a dream. Now, if you recognize those special words as being part of one of the most famous speeches in history from Dr. Martin Luther King, you're right. Dr. King was born on January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. He was a great student who became a Baptist minister and earned a doctorate degree. Dr. King won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964 when he was 35 years old, the youngest person to win it at that time. Today, we're celebrating the success of Dr. King's leadership and the civil rights movement of the 1960s. Oh, we've got a question. What do you mean when you say civil rights movement? That's a great question. The civil rights movement was a time in United States history that changed our nation for the better. To have civil rights means that everyone gets equal treatment and protection under the law. You see, in the 1950s, black Americans were not allowed to do a lot of things, like go into some restaurants, use the same bathrooms, or even attend school with white Americans. This was called segregation. Segregation was wrong back then, and it's still very wrong today. But there were many brave people who wanted to make things right, like Rosa Parks, who did not give up her seat on the bus, Thurgood Marshall, who helped outlaw segregation in schools, Pastor Ralph Abernathy, plus many more. Today, they are recognized as leaders of the civil rights movement, the time in our history that led to good change. So everyone could be treated equally, no matter what color skin we have. Dr. King believed in creating change peacefully through marches, protests, and boycotts. He was a brave man who believed in freedom for all. Dr. King delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech on August 28, 1963, in front of an audience of more than 200,000 at the March on Washington event, where people of all races peacefully gathered and stood together for equality at our nation's capital. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. His dream came true and continues to live today. You ready to make our pillow? Okay, here's what you'll need. Fabric of your choice, preferably felt. This one's measured out to about 20 inches by 15 inches. Polyester filling for the pillow. You can find this online or at any craft store a pair of very sharp scissors, always be careful, and that's it. This is so easy and fun, you're gonna love it. No sew pillow. What you're gonna do is start with your felt fabric, lay it out so it's nice and flat. Now I should have mentioned, you're going to need two sheets of this. Take your scissors, be very careful, and you're going to cut little squares out of each corner on both sheets of fabric. Ready? We wanna make sure we're cutting squares about four inches by four inches. I do this to make sure the squares are all the same size on each corner. Now what we're gonna do is cut tiny strips all the way across. This is how it's no sew. So it's one inch. And just do the best you can. All the way across, one inch strips. Be careful with your scissors. So it should look like this. Strips, one inch wide, all the way across, both sets of fabric. And we're gonna do that around all sides. Helping hands, please. 
So now that we've got our strips cut around each side of our double fabric, we're gonna tie these strips together, one on top of the other, around three sides. Ta-da! This is a super fun activity to do with your family or friends or even for a party. So now we have an opening on one side. One guess what we're gonna do next. Almost done! Now we're gonna tie these together and we're finished. Make sure you get every one so there's no holes. Ta-da! We did it! Super easy and fun, right? Are you ready for sweet dreams? The Civil Rights Movement and Dr. King's incredible I Have a Dream speech led to dramatic social change in America and helped fulfill our Founding Fathers' vision for a more perfect union and equality for all, just like they wrote in our U.S. Constitution. On July 2nd, 1964, President Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act that said, discrimination in public places like schools and restaurants was not allowed. Martin Luther King Day is a federal holiday honored on the third Monday in January. It was signed into law by President Ronald Reagan in 1983. We are so grateful for Dr. King's bravery and vision for peaceful change and equality. He made our nation better and we should all dream like him. We hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, keep dreaming, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. <sighs> I'm suddenly very sleepy. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation.